My absolute light bulb moment was when my little girl was born. When she is my age, 37, and she says, like, mom, what the hell is going on with the world? What did you do? I'm like, I did something. I, I went and I designed the best products to try and change an industry that is just decimated because of the textiles that they use and the conditions that people work in. My name is Angela O'Donnell and I am the sole designer and founder of Yawoo, which is an acronym for You Are What You Wear. And what we do is we design and develop 100% sustainable clothing and accessories. So for example, this sweatshirt that I'm wearing is 85% organic cotton and 15% recycled polyester. And the whole of our products that we have for sale at the moment are all made from those two textiles or from 100% recycled wool. It is so much easier designing products and clothing made from traditional textiles because those textiles are just readily available. You can buy them from multiple suppliers, but whereas sourcing and retaining textiles that are sustainable, either you know from 100% recycled PET or recycled elastine or anything like that, it's really difficult because they're not common. They're generally made in the Far East and sourcing them, testing them is very difficult. These original samples, this is actually made from 80% recycled polyester, which is plastic bottles, and 20% recycled elastine. As you can see here, they can't dye the inside of it when they are dyeing this. It comes in the plain white, all of it, and then it's dyed to color. When you actually put that on the body, you can see that it changes color to actually look like a light gray as opposed to a jet black. When you put these on and you do your squats, they, you can see your bum, basically. These leggings, which are coming out in July, are 75% recycled PET, which is recycled polyester, and 25% recycled elastine. They are totally see-through proof. My life would be 10 times easier <laughs> to just be like, uh, yeah, I'll just send that off there. Don't look into the background of anything. Uh, don't push for the answers. Don't hammer people on the phone to send you the certs. You know, don't ask them to, can you take videos of your factories? Can you do all these things? Our 100% recycled wool throws, these are them. When something like your old woolen jumper uh, is going to a landfill, we intercept clothing like that. We bring it back to our mill in the UK. We break it down into original textile and then we weave these blankets. I have always been fashion obsessed <laughs> um, ever since I was really young. Um, like my friends would tell you, I used to wear the most stupid looking hats, which I loved. You know, I was always, I always use fashion and style as a way to express myself. I always loved it. Um, but when you wake up to how the industry really is, and you know how fast fashion companies work and operate you can't ignore that anymore i think the true change will only come when governments say if you're bringing product in here or anything like that you need to say to us 50 percent of your textiles are made from sustainable materials this is how you're offsetting your carbon and your packaging like three simple things your packaging is biodegradable three small things but the want and the desire and need for it needs to be there.